A lemon tart baked in a sweet pastry crust makes a wonderful light dessert, but adding a meringue topping creates a spectacular treat. While lemon meringue pie is not difficult to make, it's important to have everything measured out and ready so you can move fluidly through the steps. To enjoy this pie at its best, plan to serve it on the day it is prepared. Once the pastry has been mixed and chilled, it is pressed into a pie plate and then baked blind. Placing the prepared pie pan in the freezer for 15 minutes while the oven is heating is recommended to prevent the crust from shrinking. Arrange the oven rack so that the pie can be baked in the lower part of the oven and heat the oven to 350 in the convection bake mode. Bake the crust for 20 minutes until lightly golden and then set it aside to cool. Before you continue, reduce the oven temperature to 325 degrees Fahrenheit to bake the pie. Now it's time to get the eggs separated and prepare the filling and the meringue. The filling is made by whisking together water, sugar, cornstarch, salt, lemon juice and lemon zest in a heavy saucepan over medium heat. Once the mixture has thickened, reduce the heat to low and now you'll scoop out a few spoonfuls of the hot lemon mixture and add it very slowly to the beaten egg yolks and then slowly whisk the egg yolk mixture back into the saucepan. That part takes a bit of attention. Continue cooking the mixture over low heat until it has thickened and you see some big bubbles uh, come up and then pour it into the prepared shell. Now it's time to make the meringue. Beat the egg whites combined with the cream of tartar in a, on a medium speed for about a minute or so and then increase the speed to high and beat until soft peaks form. At that point you're going to add the sugar and salt. We use super fine sugar because it helps incorporate more easily into the meringue. And now you'll beat on, on high speed until you have firm, glossy, stiff peaks. Now you spread the meringue over the entire tart, making sure that it goes all the way to the edges so that it seals properly. And then you're going to bake it in the convection bake mode for 25 minutes or 20 minutes, depending on um, how fast your oven goes. However, you will need to let this rest for at least an hour um, and you may even want to chill it for a little bit before you um, uh, begin to slice it up and enjoy this wonderful treat. Hi, I'm Larissa, your convection enthusiast. Convection cooking can make you a better cook. Check out my videos and I think you'll find that you'll do really, really well. And please like and subscribe.